Hello guys, today I'll be talking about Metasploit Framework. So Metasploit Framework uh, is used for penetration testing and it's used to test if any system has vulnerabilities and if those vulnerabilities could be exploited and if those exploitation can give us in security measure that we can implement to provide security to that system or a network. So it's a widely used tool and uh, every one of the penetration testers should have this in their uh, uh, in their knowledge so that they can use them in their day-to-day -day activities. So let's see the basics of this video in, in this video and uh, I'll be starting with Kali Linux straight away. If you want to know about the installation of Kali Linux, I can put that uh, video in the description where Kali Linux can be installed under 5 minutes itself. If you want to see the video, it's your choice. It's in the description. So let's go straight away to this uh, Metasploit framework. To initiate Metasploit framework, we should start with a command msf console. Once we start with this msf console, the Metasploit framework will start and all the dependencies and the program loading will take place so we'll have to wait for some seconds after that we'll get a you can see that msf6 has been started so this uh, i love shells egypt this uh, thing is very much interesting because every time it changes and here you can see how many exploits are available how many auxiliary how many posts, how many payloads, encoders, knobs, evasion, etc. etc. available. We'll see each what is it and uh, what is it, does it stand for. So I'll be just going through the basics for now. Okay, we'll just stop it for now. So the first command we are going to see is db underscore status. This command is used to see if the database of MS SQL is connected, PostGRE SQL is connected, and uh, if we can access the data or store any data that is required. <coughs> if you see this connection type is not available, what you can do is we have a command called msfdb init. Once you, once you initiate this command, it will start to uh, initiate this database and set up this connection type as PostGRE SQL. So here I have to run it as root that's why this error comes up so I'm just giving my password and again I, when I check DB status this the result should be like this so this is done so the second command that we are going to see is the help command so help command gives you a wide range of documentation as well as details about exploits payloads post commands etc etc lot of variations exist, exist among it so we'll see how we can use a help command as well as there is another command called info so this is also like help command but it will uh, give you the info regarding the modules so in metasploit each of this uh, functionalities are separated into modules and all those modules are very much independent so that uh, one module doesn't depend on another so that if you want to integrate more modules your own modules etc that also you can do and the third command we are going to see is search so search command gives you a variety of keywords to search you can see who's the author you can search by author or architecture you know the cv number you can search date description full name and even platform is it windows linux unix or is it specific to a port or a function like a service you can search or it's a, like a target or type etc there are a lot of variations so i'll show you an example for uh, this uh, search command so i'll search platform as windows and type is FTP so there are no nothing exists for this type so I'll search like search 
type is SFTP platform Windows SFTP Okay, there is no like SFTP specific for Windows. That's why it was uh, showing it's not there So when we search only SFTP you can see what are the modules available for SFTP and uh, Some are auxiliary modules some are exploits some are post modules We'll see one by one. What is it? Why is it, why is it used for etc? So for now, I'm just going to select one module. <coughs> Control Shift C as a shortcut, and we have to use use the use command. Use Control Shift B. So now I'm in the module. I'll just clear the screen. And now, we, what you have to do is we have to see what are the options available for this exploit. So I'm just putting show options. I can see a variety of uh, options available. So our host is the target host uh, that is that can be used for attacking. And L host is the listening host. Currently L host is uh, app to local address. Our host is kind of blank. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, set up this our host. For setting up the value, we have to use the use command. Our host. 10.10.10.6 Sorry, it's not a use command, it is set command. Arthos 10.10.10.6 Again, I'm just uh, show options. You can see the value is set. So, once all values are set, what you have to do is we have to, we have to type the command exploit so once exploit command is set up you can see it's trying to exploit the vulnerability there but since the my system doesn't have uh, any vulnerability it just ended with exploit completed but no session was created in case the vulnerability is there and it can be exploited the system will have created a session where i could uh, see what are the files present and do a variety of activities in the system so this is just a basic or an introduction to metasploit so i advise using it for only positive purpose like penetration testing and as a disclaimer hacking public systems is very much illegal and will uh, result in prosecution so i don't want to encourage that and want to finish th this with a disclaimer so thank you everyone for watching and uh, please like, share and subscribe.